Shalom to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm here with yet a powerful word of direction for you. Brothers and sisters, whoever is watching me right now, you are blessed to be watching me at this time. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that you are not listening to this message by coincidence. You are not watching this video by mistake. There is a reason as to why this video has actually been recommended to you. You are blessed. You are chosen. And remember, you did not choose yourself, but God chose you to do great and mighty things. Brothers and sisters, if you're watching me for the very first time, you are seeing this video for the very first time, I welcome you to this channel. My name is Grace and I release these words on a daily basis. I also have live streams that I have on a weekly basis. So it is important that you tune in into these uh, weekly live streams where I pray for you, I encourage you, where I read out your testimonies and I help you out in the things of God. Brothers and sisters, this is the right time. Now, brothers and sisters, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can still be a blessing to this ministry through your giving. You can give through my PayPal, and my PayPal is right in the About section of this channel. There is a link to the About section of this channel. Just click on it, and you'll be blessed to be a blessing to this ministry. Remember that uh, there is no giving that is too small. You can start from just $1 to $50 to $100 to $1,000, whatever amount that God has actually placed in your heart. Brothers and sisters, blessed the work of God. Today's amazing word for you is do not get left behind. A lot of people are planning to get behind without them knowing. Their lifestyle is showing. You know, your lifestyle, when people look at your lifestyle, it can tell you what, what will become of you. Because if you continue that route, you end up like many of them who were proud in their heart. Who they were not prepared. Be always prepared. Be always ready. Let not uh, things just fall onto you abruptly. Be ready. Mm, be ready. And how do you ready yourself? Through the word of God. Through Jesus. Let God be your number one in everything you do. Whatever you do, inquire of the Lord. Whether you want to move from one place to another place. Don't just go without knowing what will befall of you just inquire from the lord pray at all times be always alert because your enemy is not sleeping your enemy actually is busy the bible says that the the enemy the thief moves around like a roaring lion seeking from to, to devour that's the enemy and he comes to steal the thief comes to steal kill and destroy but Jesus has come that you may have life and have it abundantly. That is the good news. So today's word is from the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 to 13. Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 to 13. Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 to 13. The Bible says it clear. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you. And you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding. And the door was shut. Afterward, 
The other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor hour in which the Son of Man is coming. The Bible says, watch therefore. Watch at all times. The Bible says, those who were ready went in with him to the wedding. Are you able to be ready? What are you doing to be ready? Oh, you are sleeping. The Bible speaks of a parable of ten virgins. And there is a distinction between these ten virgins. The Bible says that five were wise and five were foolish. The wise ones took their oil, took their lamps with oil in it. The foolish ones had the lamps, but they had not enough oil in it. And the Bible says, while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slept and slumbered. They all slumbered. There is something that delayed the bridegroom. Many of you have been asking, why is it so that God, that Jesus has taken long to come? There is something that is delaying. There is a reason as why he's not coming back, but he's coming back. Hmm, sounds confusing. He is coming back. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming back very soon. That's what you need to know. So you need to be ready. They all had the word of God. The Bible says it clear. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That means they had the word of God. The lamp is likened to the word of God. But they did not have. The foolish ones did not have the spirit of God. They didn't have the spirit of God. They did not understand spiritual things. Well, the wise ones had the spirit of God in them. They had Jesus in them. Hmm. So my brothers and sisters, what are you doing to make yourself ready? Don't allow the enemy to catch you unaware. There are signs that have been, that, that, that will show the coming of, of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There are signs. And when you see these signs, the book of Matthew chapter 24 talks about the signs. When you read a book, the book of Matthew chapter 24, it talks about, so you need to be alert, brothers and sisters. Let no one lie to you. There are very many false prophets out there. There are very many uh, people that are doing evil, that want you to fall in the same bandwagon with them, that want you to uh, act like them, to do like them. The Bible says in the book of Romans, do not conform to the pattern of this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind on a daily basis. Don't be like anybody else. Be the person that God created you to be. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.